all right so uh, this lesson is more or less like a duplication of the previous one because we're just going to re we're just going to duplicate what we did at the base for the top uh, but you know we're trying to finish we we want to create a finished model so we might as well so the idea with the top one was or essentially with this as well was uh, you know those victorian frills that they used to have you know like the victorian uh, ladies would have like this neck thing and you would get a frill just below the jaw so that's effectively what it ended up looking like so what we'll do is i'm just going to take the same thing from the top and uh, let me just do like an alt click here and drag it out or uh, let's do one thing this is this is too long so i'm just going to take a null and we'll just do an out call it out top curve and do an object merge and drop it here and let's uh, let's also do one for this so we'll do control c control v just so that they look similar okay we'll call it out base curve and do an object merge and drop this so this comes in here and then this one we'll build a new one so the a lot of it is going to more or less be the same okay so let's just let's come down to this point so we can see what we have and then we just more or less we'll, we can actually just do a copy paste here so let's just take you know all of this do control c control v and we're going to copy it there and then we can take a transform take one of these do control c control v and drop that in except we need to go down instead of up so we do this and then we can just sort of scale it up so i just want like one line going straight down okay i don't want like multiple with this one okay and then uh let's do a merge so it should pretty much be the same thing so we can just do a control c control v here we get the skin and yeah let's try to take all of this and hopefully it should work for us yeah so it's more or less as i said it's it's almost the same thing that we are doing and we can probably merge this in here as well so what do we get we get that yeah okay let's just take a look at this and then we'll add like one more detail in there yeah see so it gives you like that you know that victorian kind of a frill that you used to get uh now what i want to do is i want the same spikes to sort of like you know be at the border of this yeah and maybe also make it slightly bigger so i can just take this and let's try to go to let's say 25 yeah and maybe a little bit down like that okay i think this looks nice yeah okay this looks this looks nice and then what I can do is I can just take the same thing from here, like this particular carve that we had, except instead of creating, uh, you know, instead of creating like borders, I want to create spikes. Okay. So I'm just going to take this and do control C control V okay, and plug that in. So we'll just get a lot of lines. Uh, I don't think I want these many. Let's lower this. Let's try 40. And then let's find the spike that we had made, which should be there. See, so this is the spike that we had. So we can take an object merge and bring this in over there. So just take this and drop it in there. Okay, do control X and we'll do control, control V. So first thing we'll do is we'll do a poly wire convert this to or just do a resample that will be fine as well yeah and just lower the size a lot and you know we can do a merge here and just bring this in okay that looks nice see so it gives you like a little bit of a frill on the edge let's make this about 20 and then what we also want to do is we want to select the top point over here Okay, so all of these guys let's look at the points yeah so i want to select the top points and i also want to give it 
uh, normal. So we'll take a poly frame. Okay, just move this a little bit to the side. We're kind of running out of space. Okay, so take a poly frame and type n. So we should have normals going this way. And then we're going to do a for each, for each primitive and select select a group. So we'll say group by range. And points and we want to yeah. So let's just call it top. And then we can do copy to points. And top. So this comes in here and that goes in there. And then take a transform and scale it down a lot. And let's try to rotate this minus 90. Yeah, I think this is good. Uh, 0 0.02. Okay. So we can merge them together. Yeah, let's do a color here, you know, at the end of this and make it red. And if we mirror this, yeah, okay, hold on. Uh, the bevel is causing a problem. So let's do one thing. Let's take this out. And we'll do it individually for, you know, everything else. This looks nice, but let's just take, let's just plug this in here separately. And because I don't want it for the spike. Okay. Or then we'll have to merge like these three together. Like, okay. You know, this is a little redundant, but let's just do that. So we can do this or what we do is let's just do a control Z. Okay. And we'll merge this separately, like, you know, after this. So we'll just take this out and plug this in here. And then we take another merge for these guys. Yeah, so that should do it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't think I need a carve here. Yeah, this particular carve or the second one actually, we don't need that. Yeah, then let that go all the way to the top so we can get rid of this one. Okay, and if we look at our final result, it should look pretty fancy. So there you go, see, so it looks, she looks a little more like regal. So you can decide like how long this should be. I think it's a little too long right now. So I can just take this and make it one five. And yeah, maybe a little higher. Yeah, okay, there you go, that's fine. Okay, so uh, the final thing to do with the neck is I want like additional sort of like cords or neck muscles sort of going from the side. So we'll take a look at that in the next lesson.